Oh, I'm gonna have such a hard time. What's going on guys? Back at it with another Fallout 76 video. As you can see behind me, I have a little camp going on. And I will give you guys a quick little tour of it right now. But before I get to that, I just want to make it perfectly clear that if everything goes good today, we will finally be able to complete the story arc of the Raiders and finally getting on from Rose. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this. Alright, so I got one of my buddies to pretty much build me these three water purifiers uh, so I can, you know, for obvious reasons, I can continue getting water and stuff. And of course, I got him to build me one of these power generators, the nuclear generators or whatever. And then, of course, I built this little place myself. It's a very basic place made out of wood, obviously. And just about everything you see here, he built because I don't have any of these plans. So, shout out to my friend Frosty Death for for helping me out and of course he plays on PC and he plays quite often too so I don't know if he will add you but uh shout out to him regardless frosty death on PC all right so first things first obviously we wait where do we have to go anyways so we have to go to blackwater mine so let's go ahead and put a let's go ahead and put a destination marker on there so that we can actually find our way there with no problems and for some reason my map marker isn't even showing up am i even looking in the right direction no i'm not i should be going in this direction oh and before i forget he also gave me a bunch of serums that i'm definitely going to be needing later on uh serums that i've been talking about since pretty much the series the fallout 76 let's play started like for example uh speed demon one is a very important one for me uh marsupial is another very important one for me but of course for playing in survival i think one of the most important ones for me personally uh is healing factor and that's only because stim packs are a commodity in this because if you die of course you drop a pretty pretty decent amount of stim packs so of course feeling uh, healing factor will definitely come in handy all right so i think we're almost there so before we actually get there though i want to say really quick that if you already haven't done so please do me a huge favor and like the video it really does help my channel a lot so if you could do that for me thank you i would really really appreciate it and while you're at it, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe as well, of course. Alright, so we are actually here. However, I'm not going to go through the front door because there, if I remember correctly, this place has a lot of mole miners. So something that I like to do is actually go around the back and then just pretty much just jump down from the back onto that little dome, you know, building right there. Yep, see, I can see some mole miners right in there. Level 42. No, thank you. Getting out of there is going to be a different story there, though. Maybe they won't see us. Greetings. Detection error. System is... So the good thing is that we escaped with our lives. Well, part one, of course. Because we still have to continue... This mission. Okay, so it's right here. I knew it was right around this entrance. Uh, check the terminal. I don't know which one I have to click on, so I'm pretty. Was that it? Yep, that was it. Rose here. Not that I'm a creep, but I was watching yes, you through are. the viewfinder again and saw you enter the mine. Can you still hear me? Nope. Ah, whatever. It's not like you can radio back. Anywho. I recall, we completely lost track of the Blackwater Bandits back in 96. <sighs> Freddy wasn't looking too good last time we saw her alive. Not her usual bright and spirit itself. Real sick. Her hair looked awful. Something happened in that mine hideout of theirs. Not sure what, but if you can figure it out, 
I bet you'd be able to track down that key fragment. I'll catch up with you when I see you crawl out of that cave. Oh man, this one is gonna suck pretty bad. Mainly because I have to fight a bunch of freaking mole miners. Uh, should be interesting. Look at that, I can't even kill mole rats with one hit. Ah! You disgusting beasts. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna die. Ah. Oh, this is not going to be a good thing. Well, that didn't work out. The good thing is that one of these last updates allows me to spawn back in the same place that I was just at, so it makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Do I have any more explosives? No, but you know what? I think this is going to be a hell of a lot better. For now. Look at all my stuff that fell. That's a lot of stuff. Oh my god. You saw all of that, man? Oh. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna have such a hard time. So, <laughs> definitely once I'm done with this mission, before I start the next portion of this, uh, of the storyline, I'm probably gonna go around and grind for a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up our stuff again. And see if we can... <laughs> Oh, got one of them. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, I definitely just lagged. Never a good thing. Ah! Oh no. Round three. <laughs> so one thing I definitely didn't do is put my black diamond right there. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Because we're about to get down and dirty with some mole miners again. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Oh, man, I'm going to get him eventually. Maybe I should find some armor. <laughs> Die. Die. Oh my god, I finally got him. Oh, that's not a good thing. Ah. Oh. Do I have any stim packs? Three of them, that's it, that's all I have. I wish I had some explosives. I wonder if this is going to work. Oh, 
Oh, that's not working. Oh. There is a silver lining, though. This is the last part of the mission, so... After this, we're pretty much golden. Maybe I can get a sneak attack. <sighs> oh, nice! <sighs> Except this is pretty much going to be me this entire mission. Literally just trying to survive. But it's okay though. I'm not even worried about it because it seems like the game is running fine right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and let them fight. I'm pretty sure they're way harder for me. Look at that. They even got rocket launchers. It should be a feral ghoul, to be honest. Oh, it's a glowing one. I can see him. Uh, I think the glowing one definitely killed... Wait a minute. They killed him. I might be able... Uh-oh. I might be able to just sneak up there. They did. They killed him. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Ah! Run away! Oh, my God. I think I, I, think I did it. stupid mole miners. Alrighty, so now all I have to do is go straight, but there's a problem because there's still the mole miners out there, so... Greetings. Detection error. System is as soon as I complete this quest, I'm dude... I'm deuces. Hey, you're back! I guess you found it, huh? Oh, barely. I'm just gonna be to move on. Let's check with the trappers next. They had a camp out near the Devil's Backbone, so they could keep an eye out along the road from the southeast. We never did find out what happened to them. We were spread pretty thin by the time they disappeared. Someone or something probably got to them. Maybe they left a note behind, or some other clue. They were real outdoorsy types. Like camping and hunting, so be careful searching the camp for their piece of the key. If it wasn't obvious, they were really into traps. Hence why they're called trappers. But this is going to be challenging somewhat because I have to go through all these mountains and stuff. And for some reason, my waypoint isn't working. So I'm pretty much going to have to figure it out. But that's all good in the neighborhood. Well, with no help of our marker, we're finally pretty much here. So that's a, that's a good thing because it took a while to get here having to maneuver around the mountains. But I think there's a note that's stapled somewhere. Yep, right there. Those mutant bastards attacked us. Well, I think I uh, know exactly what we have to do now. So the bad thing about dying now or out here is literally the fact that if I die, I won't be able to fast travel. So I'm going to have to run my happy butt all the way over here again. So, I don't think I'm going to fight the super mutants that are there. I'm going to try to find an alternate way to get there because, first of all, my health is low. I only have two stim packs. Yep, two stim packs. And I'm probably going to die multiple times. So, there's a there's no point, realistically, to, to fight them. If I'm going to grind, I'll probably just go somewhere with lower level enemies and just grind that way because... This way is going to be impossible. <laughs> Woohoo! There should be one. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Oh, 
Oh, what am I gonna do? For super mutants. Where is he? I can hear him. Oh crap. Oh crap. Maybe I should just run there. Oh, this is not gonna happen. Oh, my last impact. Oh no. No, 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 no. Run. I'm going to die. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I have to run cuz I'm going to die. Give me some berries. Alright, well, I'm back in caution, so let's actually just run in this direction, and hopefully we can just sneak around the back. But I see myself dying right now. Oh, it's a level 5 though. Only if I had something to throw at him. Oh, come on, man. Ah! I got the fragment. Oh, but I'm going to die. I see some commotion over in Huntersville. Got to be you, huh? Yeah. I kind of figured the mutant brutes got Run. to Walter and the trappers. Real shame. Then again, maybe it wasn't such a bright move sticking around when they found out the town was run amok with those big dumb glutes. I can't Why believe I made it though. figure out what happened to the diehards next. Probably just plain starved after Margie vanished. <laughs> Bunch of useless old softies. Margie had her own room at the Sunny Top Ski Lanes. It's her last known location. See if she left anything behind. I can't believe I made it. I legit can't believe I made it. Alright, so I'm gonna fast travel back to my camp. My god, dude, that was so close. I, can't, I really can't believe I made it, man. So for now, I'm, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I'm at my camp. And I'm gonna take a, a nap. Because I'm... I'm literally almost dead. Alrighty, now that I'm finally fully healed, let's go ahead and go. So the place that I have to go is actually kind of pretty far north, which was kind of really far from where I was over there in Huntsville or Huntersville or whatever it's called. But it's a hell of a lot closer. My camp uh, is a hell of a lot closer than where I was before over there in Huntersville. So the good thing about that is that it pretty much cut my travel time in half just by going to my camp. So this is a good, you know, time to finally say that my camp actually worked out as far as the location. So that's good. This is the Wendigo cave. And I, oh, speaking of Wendigo, there's one right there. Level 42 though. No, thank you. So we're pretty much here. But I'm going to definitely, definitely, definitely discover this crappy little train station. Because if I don't, I'm going to be in a world of pain. So we're here. I wish there was a bed. I don't know if there's a bed. Let's check if there's a bed. Nope, no bed. Well, alrighty then. Alright, so should be right over here. It is. Let's go ahead and do this. Because I swear I will die very, very soon. Be nice. Oh crap! No. Really? You're you're gonna reward me by giving me level sixty something? How am I supposed to complete this freaking quest, Bethesda? Oh. 
This is uh, magnificent. Ow. I didn't make it. This is going to be a disaster. How am I supposed to complete this mission, man? I have to grind for like forever just to literally be able to kill all these people. I'm probably going to end up teaming with somebody. Help me take out some of these people. Uh, run. Come on. I'm literally just going to spam this terminal. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. I have to go more north. And I'm definitely not going to go get my drop loot because I will die. Because Bethesda likes to give me level 60 somethings to fight. I'm literally just going to run there. And because I'm pretty sure this place is filled with scorched. I'm pretty sure uh, because of just the luck that I've been getting today. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get destroyed by like level 60 scorched. Oh, thank God. It's just level 6. Which means I can kill them all. Isn't it in here? Man, you know what? My my build is actually pretty strong against level 6s. <laughs> now I have to go to that other room that I was at before this. I think it's duplicate from the archives, right? I just don't know which one it is. We'll get it eventually. Oh, right here. Die Hard's key fragment. There we go. Hey, I kind of lost track of you out there. I was, uh busy doing some stuff. And by stuff, I mean chems. You know? I almost feel bad for old Margie. Smart as a whip, but never did like to get her hands dirty and couldn't hack it when push came to shove. Anyway, did you find her key? Let's pretend you did and move on. I don't have all day to watch you putter about. Hey, speaking of putters... I'm not sure what you'll find at Bolton Greens, but I am sure that whatever happened to the Gourmands, it was as grisly and inhuman as they were. Good luck! Uh, you'll forgive me for not watching this time. Alright, so we have to go here, but let's see, what's the best place to fast travel to? I think, honestly, the best place to fast travel to is Morgantown. So let's go ahead and do that, and then make our way there. You know, to level up a little bit, I think I'm going to do some of the lower level DLCs, like the one with the fraternity party right here in Morgantown. I think that one would be pretty good for now. Only because, I mean, you guys have seen it, man. All these bad guys or whatever, they're all really high level compared to me. I'm really hoping there's no high level enemies here. Because if you look at my health, I'm almost dead. Oh, thank God, it's only a level one. Hopefully, they're all stupid low levels like that. Knock, knock. So far, so good. Oh, I mowed that dude down. Who just shot me? Woo! 
You guys are done skis. Thank you very much. Oh, legit. This is going to be really hard because I am not strong enough for the Wendigo cave. Um, but the good thing is with the update that Bethesda did recently, uh, whenever you die inside a dungeon or something like that, you actually respawn inside of the dungeon. And that's pretty good, especially being in survival. So... Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Because in there there's a lot of really strong enemies like Mylurks and Mylurk Kings. And of course at the very end there's a Mylurk, I mean a, a Wendigo. So I know in the first part there's a, a few feral ghouls. Okay, thank god. Hopefully it stays like this. As in, like, low-level enemies that I could actually do it, you know? Oh, Pharrell Ghouls. I know there's more of you here. And then right over here, there's going to be a little mole rat that likes to try to sneak up on you. Luckily, I know where this jackass lives. Oh, and he has a stim pack. No, could give it to me. That was close. Let's see how high the Mylurks are. Oh, okay. I think I'm good. Ah! Uh. There's another one, but I can't see him. Where is he? Where are you? There you are. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I might actually be in a in a good position here. Oh crap! This one's a level twelve. And then that one is a level 5. But I'm not going to go ahead and kill him. Only because I don't want to be accidentally dealt some damage that I'm going to need later. Oh crap, another level 12. Well, this one I might have to kill, though. Ooh. Please tell me I have something to throw at him. Hopefully that works. Oh my god, it works! That was the first time it that was it was actually successful for me. Very nice. If I find a Myler King, I'm pretty screwed because those things those things have always been pretty much like a bane to my existence. We should be getting close to those part where the Wendigo appears. Boom. No? Oh no. Crap. Woo! That was close. This last one, I'm, I'm really, really hoping that the Mile, I mean, not the Mile or King, the um, Wendigo falls for it. I don't think it will, though. But I guess you won't know till you try, right? No, it didn't. Level 30 something, really? Oh no. How the hell am I supposed to fight this dude? Uh. 
Ah, come on. No, no. Ouch. Really? He healed? This is not even fair, man. Where'd he go? Really? Oh, come on! How is this fair, man? Kill me. <sighs> ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Ah, got him. Oh my god, finally. Finally. Finally! Hey, I hope you're still alive. Oh, out shut there. up, I Rose. You are. <laughs> also, I'm talking to a corpse. I assume the gourmands just ate each other to death. I'll never ask what actually happened, though. The thought of eating another human grosses me out. <sighs> Ugh. Makes me glad robots were never on their menu. So, there's one more key fragment. This one belonged to the cutthroats. David, the guy who led us, is alive. Yep. Or something like it. I saw him roaming around out there, near his favorite barbecue shack. <laughs> Turned into one of those scorched things. It breaks my heart to see him like Where's that. Where's Fred's barbecue shack again? He could be a real jackass, but he doesn't deserve that fate. Now I'd bet anything he's still got his key fragment on him. So really, he'd be doing everyone involved a huge favor by putting him out of our collective misery. <sighs> and taking the key. Kiss him goodbye for me? Uh, actually, don't. He's probably all malformed and disgusting now. Yeah. Probably. Yuck. So for now, I'm actually just going to fast travel to my camp and rest for a second. Now we have to go to Big Fred's Barbecue Shack and kill this dude, David. But the thing is, it's not really showing on the map, but I think I remember where it's at. So I'm kind of hoping that my memory serves me right because, again, it's not showing on my map marker. I want to say that that little map marker that's undiscovered is Big Fred's. So I suppose we will see. But... I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that's what it is. And this part of the mission should be pretty easy, and it's like pretty much the last portion. There's like a couple more things that I have to do, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. So hopefully it all pans out, because I don't want to die again. Ah! ah. Oh. Where is he? Did I kill? No, I didn't. Where's he at? Oh, no. See a bunch of random stuff. I don't even care if I get a disease. There he is. Oh, I got him with one hit. Nice. Hey, 
you. I watched you kill David through the viewfinder. Sucks, doesn't it? So, that's a thing that happened. Hey, I'm hoping that by now you've got everything we need. Nope. Hurry back so we can bust that cash wide open and see what's inside. No one's been inside since before they made me, so I've been dying to see all the great crap they've kept hidden for all these years. Don't keep me waiting. Sounds like a plan. Rose, I need to talk to you. Hey, it's you, whatever your name was. You got those key fragments for me? Absolutely I'll not. I'll take those for safekeeping. There's just one more little thing. Of course. David, he had a mistress named Rosalind. She wound up doing something stupid out of love for the man. Tried to lead a raid on Charleston on Christmas Eve. So she could bring him back something nice. Got herself killed in the process. We never were able to recover the body. I would have gone to do this myself, but, well, eh, it's personal. Alrighty. Now, in order to create the cash master key from those passwords you got, I need the holotape program she had with her when she died. You might have to look through the town's records to find out where they buried her body. I'd start with the Capitol building. That's the last thing. I swear. Then we're golden. Meet me at the cash in the basement of the ski lodge when you got that holotape. Alright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast travel all the way over there. Okay. I see you made it into the city. Yep. Well, there's something you should know. If it isn't already painfully obvious. What is Charleston that? got flooded in a bad way. When David learned they killed Rosalind, he took the many nukes we'd stolen from the Brotherhood of Steel and rigged them to blow up the dam. Damn near wiped the entire city off the map. Last I checked, the Capitol building is still standing. If any place was going to have records of any of this, it'd be there. Here's hoping you don't have to dig up half the town to find what you're looking for. I'm sure I will. Alright. So, we have to find information for Rosalind. <gasps> this looks so much different. I know they redesigned the interior and it looks completely different. I hate it when they walk backwards like this. So annoying. Oh, look at all these guys. They're like all chilling, dude, right here. And I'm already about to die. Is that everybody? Nope, I can hear footsteps. There he is. Anybody else or Ow. Oh man, that thing messed me up. Do I have a stim pack? Yes, I do. Die! How'd you get up there? This is actually really cool, man. This, this literally made it a lot easier. Um, Roslyn. Oh, John Doe, maybe? Or Jane Doe, maybe? I don't know. Alright, yep, that was her. Yeah, you can tell they're torturing that responder. Over here. Dude, this is a million times better. Hey, sorry to break it to you, but I was gonna cheat you. Of course <laughs> I don't you need were. a program to decrypt the key fragments. I'm a freaking robot. I just wanted you out of the way so I could get first dibs at the loot. At least I'm honest about it. Right. Mm, Thing is, uh, I couldn't go I through guess. with it. Either you've made me a better person, or there's some old remnant of Miss Nanny firing up and making me 
care about people. It's all worthless pre-war junk anyway. You can have as much of it as you want. There might be some good loot, but that bucket of bolts bellhop down there won't cop it up without a claim ticket. Good luck finding one of those. I couldn't even shake it out of them. And believe me, I tried. It's all yours if you can figure something out. All right, so there you go. That's it. <laughs> Don't get all teary-eyed. I'm sure we'll do business together again soon. Until then, toodles. Awesome sauce. Oh, now what? Oh, and before I forget, that uplink or whatever you were looking for is also in the cache. Hooray, you got it. Go you. Now don't go forgetting about me just because you got what you came for. I will find you. Yeah, of course you will. Well, this is literally the last part of the quest, which is freaking amazing. And I'm so ready for this quest line to be over. Alrighty, so first things first, we have to come up here. And honestly, there's going to be a bunch of bad guys here. I don't know if it's going to be Scorched or if it's going to be Super Mutants. Sounds like super mutants. Uh, Getting hungry. Uh, Die. So I'm just gonna run there. Give me that. Open this. Close this just in case anything comes. Do that. And then let's go. Too. So, did you find that uplink thing you were looking for? Yes, I did. Yeah, it got a little banged up when we shoved it through the storage system. You'll probably need to bring it to someone in the free states who can fix it. The <laughs> joke's on you. They're as dead as everyone else out there. Of course they are. You know, at least one or two of them defected to us when they got sick of living underground. They talked about this real smart gal named Abby. Tech smart, you know? I bet you can find something down in her bunker that'll help you fix Good that doodad. It's in the mire. I can point you in the right direction. Now, go on and scram. Maybe you'll actually be able to get rid of these scorched things. Then, bing, bang, boom, couple hundred years pass, you vault people have a couple of kids, they have a couple of kids, etc. Next thing you know, we got more raiders and more people to prey on. Perfecto! Sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. But until then, I'll just be messing with the radio. <laughs> Don't you forget about me up here. I'm always around if you get bored. <laughs> Later, alligator. Well, that pretty much concludes this mission. And with that, this quest line, the only thing that's left, of course, with the missing link is just go to the Free States bunker. But I'm not actually not going to go to the Free States right now, only because it is starting to get very difficult. So for now, I think I'm just going to uh, do some grinding, maybe do some other side quests before we actually continue the, the main storyline. So we are going to continue playing, obviously, and I might play offline just to do some grinding and stuff. But we will be doing some side quests in the meantime. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I will definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.